and welcome to my really really late um, finale update for um, the Budget Beauties project together with the Fantastic Ladies Club. Uh, I'm why I'm not looking directly in the camera is because I'm filming this on my phone because I want to just film it and get it out as quickly as possible. I so that's why. Um, I'm filming it with the front camera, with it laying down on a selfie stick, which is why it might be a little bit shaky as well. But the thing is, I'm gonna take today to just film all like updates for all of my year long projects because I haven't been really good uh, and good at planning stuff right now. New school year, new you, but not, and all the messes back. <laughs> Um, so I'm gonna take today and do that and while filming and everything I want to get this out so that's why I'm just doing it easy breezy on my phone uh, to just be able to get it out while filming this is also why I don't have really a full face of makeup I have almost I don't have highlighter on I don't have I only have a tad bit of uh, no mascara I have a tad bit of tight lined but the thing is, this is more like my everyday makeup. Um, so this is how I usually look. I don't have highlighter, but I have foundation. So I have a natural, natural highlight. So, but uh, let's start uh, talking about these products. Because I had uh, some other successes that are like done. Uh, and that is uh, the... Uh, Isadora Glossy Stick in something cocktail. It still can be a bot. I looked it up at Kix, which are a Swedish retailer for makeup that have Isadora as one of the many brands they have. And it's, I don't remember what it's called, but, but it is something cocktail. Um, and um, if you like that kind of glossy stick, I would probably recommend it. Uh, I personally didn't like the shade and the formula was on mine were probably so old, so I can't really count on it, but but I think it's a pretty easy to go um, summer product if you use, or just something to have in the bag. Um, the second, I have my trusty computer down, as usual, because I can't remember stuff. No, uh, but I had the single eyeshadow in Sex Kitten from NYX, which um, is finished as well. I still haven't cleaned the pan, but it is finished. And then the one thing that I said that I would finish was the... Um, the thing is, I have the light right in front of me, so I will get that. You can see the shadow. I will get the shadow to fall on my face, which is why I'm moving when I see that I'm too dark. Let's see. There we go. Yeah. Uh, where was I? And the foundation. I used it up. It's a really lovely foundation. Sometimes it was pretty good to use during that time of the year. Uh, some days as well, it was pretty cold. Some days it was fine. This shade I have on right now, I managed to get a good match. It's a um, concoction of two different foundations. One too dark, one too light. Uh, but I will mention it more in the A to C product, probably. Um, because this is um, when I have, because I have used another product that aren't in a project to combine two a foundation that are in that project. Uh, and let's see. Uh, one product that I took out of product that I, project that I have that I have now also given away to a friend together with a lipstick from not this year, not this um, Christmas uh, to face kit, but the year before when they had one of each type of lipstick. Uh, I gave one of those, uh, the drop red, dead red, I think it was called to her, together with the green um, eye and eyebrow pencil, and she seems to like them, so that's nice um, and good to hear. But it is no longer in my collection, so I didn't use it up, but I got it out in another way. I think it will work fine on her. Um, and then we have the product that I haven't used up, which is the NYX Vivid Bright in Vivid Blossom. 
I feel like I look a bit darkness in my face. I just need to do this. Um, I don't know why I used it. Um, this is the wrong product for winter and fall. This is a spring and summer product. I will try to use it more when it is more fun weather, when it is spring and summer, because it's a lovely purple lilac, almost lilac like shade. And it's really beautiful, but um, it's not the color you call for on the winter. In the winter you want greens and reds and golds. Is this it? No, this is a spring and summer color for me. So that was a bad pick of an item, but yeah. And another product is the product I never can open. No, I'm not gonna try it because I have the phone on a selfie stick that would be... I'm not gonna try. <laughs> because I don't wanna uh, cut and like edit this. I just wanna get it up after. Um, this, um, as I have mentioned, this leaves speckles of glitters on my face and that's why I haven't used it as much as I should because I always have like orange glitter underneath your eye, underneath my eyes. I get it from the other one that I have in another project but that's one in more uh, light colors so that's more fine. But I really like this product because I was traveling one of my many uh, recent travels to Helsinki. I had this one together with the My Little Pony palette from Colourpop that I love dearly. Uh, and, but the thing, I was putting on a look with that palette and I was not feeling that uh, cool toned look. It was um, really pretty. So I just put this one all over the eye and all the like uh, deepness and all that kind of stayed, but it transformed the eye to just a really beautiful uh, warm eye. So I think that these products are really good to travel with. If you have one color that you know that, oh, but I might want uh, a cool tone look, or I might want a warm tone look, but don't want to pick a whole palette, or don't have a palette that has that versatility you're looking for, so if you, in case you want just that color of dye, the then this product is really, really good for it, I believe. Personally, it's not really my favorite kind of product, but that's because of the follows the day after. Um, and yeah, why I, as I, mentioned, um, I think I mentioned it earlier, earlier that I have actually filmed it and was about to put it out. But then I realized I wasn't happy with it. And then I was, oh, but I can just edit it out. And then I lost energy and just had a lot of other stuff. Or more like, yeah. Uh, so I decided to use, um, film it again and just get it out because I weren't gonna uh, cut it in it. It felt like. Um, because the thing is, I weren't personally happy with how I said some things while, while, while I was rambling about things um, and I didn't it was nothing mean or nothing like that but I just, I just didn't like how, how I made myself in the video not that I'm not myself but I didn't like how, how it came out so I just did it again I think you can understand uh, but that's it for this project. I'm thankful for all of you that follow me on the journey. And thank you for all the new subscribers as well as if you are commenting. Um, I'm, I'm quite shy and that's why I have sometimes hard time um, answering them or just thinking that I will do it later. We all know how that goes. Uh, but I'm really thankful. Um, this journey is is over but if you want to follow me and another ones I have I have some other projects panning projects going on right now as well which are the ones I will be filming so you are welcome to check out how they have how, which they are in um, on my page if you are curious about it or maybe even just follow me and see 
<laughs> subscribe subscribe me and see where when it's what it is when it comes um but thank you so much for watching and uh, for your support